Tim's RV Tips here with an update on the mini split system for the Sprinter van. This is the sound of the compressor going. As you can hear, you're hearing what I'm hearing. I'll put my head right up next to it. The sound is barely perceptible over the ambient noise. So this will be a solar uh, powered mini split system uh, to swing this out so we can get the doors open. Take out the pin. As you can see, the line set is flexible, steel braided. I've made some strain reliefs and uh, we'll go into the van now. Everything's still under construction. There's the mini split system. Uh, what I've done, uh, you can see here, this is called the uh, IC system. I think it's something like IC. You can see it rotating. So it's looking for people in the room. And if it sees people in the room, it will direct the flow of the veins to those people. Uh, here's my system of uh, drainage. I have two condensate drains here and they go into a Y. It's basically a Y here that they both go into. And you can see the line set here. So this is the line set strain relief for mobile operation. And that goes down into a hole in the floor. Here's one of the condensate lines and that has to be kept on a slant. And due to the way I will park the van, it may be on a, a pretty severe slant. So I've got a, I made a little fiberglass rod system here that I can, you know, make sure that the water continues to flow down into the condensate area. So you can see the remote control here. Uh, it's set for 73 degrees. And we're feeling pretty cold air coming out of the uh, mini split system. Because the van walls are slanted, I originally mounted it straight on the walls, which would have given me a out of balance condition. So I have uh, made three wedges. You kind of see them here. I made three wedges uh, and then going onto the board, the mounting board uh, for the mini split system. So I had about 10 degrees of slant that I needed to do for the indoor unit here. Uh, what you're hearing is what I'm hearing here in my headset. You can hardly hear anything. Uh, this is so quiet, uh, almost uh, you know, the ambient noise is about the only thing you hear. So this is on high. The fan's on high now. So it's really just a pretty quiet rush of air. And you're hearing what I'm hearing here. And normally you don't need to put it on high. Normally it's on low, which is uh, barely perceptible in the van. And you can see the stream relief system I made for the uh, line set here, made an aluminum bracket going down and holding on to the, the line set. So when I mounted it, uh, all, during all the stresses of mounting, uh, that the line set would be remain steady inside. The power the for the mini split system is from this uh, Chinese 220 volt, uh, 6,000 watt pure sine wave inverter and uh, does a, a great job. You can see here the current that's being used. So it looks like uh, an average around 250 watts. If you figure I have a 96 volt system rounded up to 100, uh, these, the current value on the left there, uh, maximum of three amps. So that's uh, 300 watts. So it's very easy, uh, very easy on the electrical system. And uh, this Tesla battery system can you know, power this, uh, this big battery here can power this for days, many days. And it's going up to 90 degrees today. So I think it'll do a good job uh, powering this even without uh, adding any shore power. And you can see the average pack amps here at uh, about 2.1 amps, about uh, 210 watts, which is, uh, which is very low. So the current flows from the Tesla battery through this raceway and then into my electrical box here. 
and uh, as you can see the battery voltage is 95 almost 95 volts here that produces 220 volts through a 220 volt breaker and then up into the mini split system and as you can see the condensate drain here at the rear of the vehicle at the bottom of the vehicle going up into the access uh, area for the uh, for the mini split system you have the two lines uh, for the mini split and the electrical control cable uh, for the in indoor unit as well as the uh, orange power cable i made this strain relief for the mini split system because even though the line set is flexible it still puts quite a bit of pressure on the connections inside so i made this uh, uh, strain relief system using Adele clamps uh, to keep that uh, uh, keep the, the fittings from being stressed. One point of feedback for Ideal Air is that I opened up the flexible line set and I saw these breaks in the insulation. So they gave me a refund. Uh, the seller gave me a refund. So I had to re-insulate these. So I'd be wary of these flexible line sets and make sure you inspect them before installation. Here's a schematic for the system. Uh, it just took right out of the Mitsubishi uh, manual and it's fairly straightforward connections but they're very important so thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe